Old World Wine Labels, Terms and Jargon Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Reading wine labels from the Old World countries of Europe, such as France, Spain and Italy, can be very confusing. Aside from the fact that the labels are usually written in the local languages, each of these countries also has different laws and traditions regarding what appears on wine labels. So, Video Jug has put together this guide to reading and understanding the terms found on Old World wine labels. Step 1. Types of wine. There are several different categories for Old World wines. There is table wine, country wine, and wine with controlled appellation. The wines are categorized by how closely they stick to local wine laws and so are not always an indicator of quality. Table wine is the most basic of these. In France, it's called vin de table, in Italy, Vino de Tavola, in Germany, Tafel Wein, and in Spain, Vino de Mesa. The next step up is regional wine. This applies to wines made from grapes grown in a specific region, but that don't necessarily adhere to the specifications of that region's wine laws. In France, it's called Vin de Pays, in Italy, IGT, which stands for Indicazione Geografica Tipica, in Spain, it's called Vino de la Tierra, in Germany, Qualitätswein, Bestimmte and Biogobita, or QBA. Germany also has Qualitätswein mit Paradikat, which means quality wine with distinction. This is a slightly superior wine, but still a regional one. And then there are controlled appellation wines. These are wines that are made in the manner set out by the region's wine laws and tend to be the more famous regional wines like Burgundy, Bordeaux or Chianti. A wine with appellation is made in a specific way as set down by a region's wine laws. In France, it is known as Appellation Controlée, in Italy, Dominazione Controllata e Garantita, or DOC, and in Spain, Denominazione de Origen, or DO. Step 2. Cru. The most famous category is the Cru in France. Cru is the French word for growth and refers to vineyards of especially high quality in a particular region. In Bordeaux, there are a handful of first growth. Chateau Lafitte, La Tour, Margaux, Aubryon, Mouton Rothschild, Cheval Blanc, Ozone, and Decuyem. These are the finest wines in Bordeaux. There are also second, third, fourth, and fifth growth, which are still very good wines and very expensive, but of slightly lesser quality than the first growth. There is also, in descending order of quality, Cru Bourgeois Exceptionnel, Cru Bourgeois Supérieur and Cru Bourgeois. Elsewhere in France, there are two main distinctions. That is Grand Cru and Premier Cru. You find these categories in regions like Burgundy and Alsace. These refer to individual vineyards. A Grand Cru wine is made from the grapes from a Grand Cru vineyard. It should be one of the best wines a region can offer. Premier Cru is still a very good wine, but it is less good than a Grand Cru. Step 3. Reserva. Reserva is a term that appears on many wines, particularly on wines from the New World. Most of the time, when on New World wines, it's a marketing ploy and means nothing. But in the Old World, on Spanish wines and on Italian wines, it means that the wine has been aged. In Spain, a Reserva wine will have been aged for at least three years in both cask and bottle. One year at least must have been in an oak cask. In Italy, Reserva just means that the wine has been aged in either cask or bottle, or both. For information on how to read wine labels from other parts of the world, watch the video jug film How to Read a Wine Label. Done.